There we go. Wolfie is pissed. This is such a cool boss fight, man. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So in this one we're actually going to be fighting the Ravager, but a quick note, since the Ravager is considered a world boss, there isn't actually a prerequisite dungeon to go through, unlike some of the dungeon bosses obviously. They have their own specific dungeons uh, that you have to bypass or go through first before you actually go and fight the boss himself. But... Uh, a little quick note to add on to that note <laughs> is that there is an actual way to bypass the Ravager boss fight altogether. And that's by doing uh, the Ravager's puzzle, Bell Puzzle, which I won't be covering in this video. But it is a pretty good way to bypass it without actually having to fight the boss. In this video, we're actually going to fight him uh, just so that we, you know get a flavor of it and everything like that. But if you do end up deciding to use uh, or to do the puzzle... You actually get a cool weapon called uh, the Scar of the Jungle God, which is right here. It does bleed damage, and it's actually a pretty good weapon overall. It was actually my favorite weapon that I used prior to uh, using the Lost Harpoon, uh, which is now my favorite. But uh, I should probably use that Guardian Axe, though, since I do have a somewhat summoner build. But... Uh, if you fight him normally, you actually get a different crafting material, which I will cover at the end. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and head on over there. Alrighty, so, the Ravager is actually not a very tough boss. Actually, at all, I don't think. I do get hit every once in, uh, in a while, but I have beat him without getting hit before. Uh, but either way, uh, watch me die in this one. <laughs> But the boss fight actually won't initiate immediately until you actually shoot him, which I will do right now. Oh, I missed. There we go. Wolfie is pissed. This is such a cool boss fight, man. Let's do it. Go. Where do you go? Let's see if I can get it without getting hit. Did he already go? Yeah, he did. All right, so I got to be careful. Oh, crap. Oh, I got hit. That sucks. Whoa, that was a close one. Oh. Goodbye. Wait, was there another? Oh, yep, there was. You leave me alone. Alright, he should be dead. I'm just gonna go ahead and basically just chill. Goodbye. <laughs> right on. Eh, no it wasn't. That was pretty easy. Oh. I got a new emote. I didn't realize that I haven't fought him yet since the last patch. So, let's go ahead and go back to War 13 and I'll explain to you what the crafting material that you get from him is. Alright, so as I previously said, if you actually choose to uh, do the lullaby uh, for the Ravager, you actually get a crafting material called the Stalker's Claw, which I'll show on the screen right now. And with that, you are able to craft the Scar of the Jungle uh, God, which is the blue... 
claws that I have right here. These are pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. They're really cool and very unique looking and they're flashy and everything. And I, I think it's one of those that people like to just put on just to show off a little bit. It's actually a really cool one though. It's actually worth it to get. Uh, but if you choose to defeat them as I just did, you actually get a crafting material called the Tentacle Pod, which I'll show on the screen right now. And what that does is that it allows you to craft a pistol or a, a, a sidearm called the Curse of the Jungle God, which is this right here. Uh, admittingly, I've never used it, but I know so many people that have used it, especially on summoner builds, because I think the tentacle that fires off of the Curse of the Jungle God counts as a summon. And if you know anything about summoner builds, it's always it's always a good thing to have you know your own ads on the on uh, uh, on the field at any given time because it also boosts your damage. So it's actually if this is one of those things that you want just to boost your own personal damage. I mean, I can see that being one of those things right there too. But on top of that, it's actually really really strong if you know how to use it. So. I don't know uh, what you guys' opinions are on this. I know personally I've never used it and I don't really have a need for it because I already have my own build and I actually really enjoy thoroughly my build. So, uh, But if this is something that you guys are enjoying, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help the channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.